Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary, and this weekend I have been at the All Aquarium Catfish Convention down in Herndon, Virginia. Um, now, I haven't shot very much footage. I decided to take this weekend and just sort of relax, listen to the speakers, hang out with some friends. Um, this particular convention was the very first one that I ever went to back in 2006, and it has a very special place in my heart because of that, and I'll never miss one. Um, so how it works here is they have uh, the entire third floor of the, of the hotel is everyone selling fish or fish products out of their hotel room, and they do what's called the spree on three on um, Friday night. And then they have speakers Friday. I did a, a demo on building an aquarium, a uh, Hillstream Aquarium. And then they have more traditional speakers, all catfish-centric. Um, and then there's a vendor room or a couple vendor rooms. And then they do a little bowl show. Um, and if you're following me on Instagram, I stuck some pictures of some of the fish from the bowl show and things like that um, from the event on, on my Instagram. Um, I, I, like I said, I haven't... I haven't shot much footage, but I did want to take a second and show you a tank that I particularly like uh, that's being produced by Aquion. I think it's a really, really nice footprint um, and will be really, a really great tank for newer fish keepers. It's got a decent volume. It's just under nine gallons, um, but a really great footprint specifically for shrimp. And the, the rep um, or the designer, Andy Hudson, was here and I really think they did a nice job. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you and just give you a quick look around to show you kind of what, what this event was like. Um, I did not take any footage of the spree on three. I was too busy shopping for fish. <laughs> so when I get home and get everything put away, I'll show you what I bought as well. Anyway, enjoy. So I'm here at the Catfish Convention and one of the main sponsors of the event was Aquion. In fact, Aquion is who supplied everything that I used for my aquarium. One of the things that I think is really interesting that they came to this show with is this new roughly eight gallon shrimp aquarium. I believe it's 8.57 gallons or something like that. I'll have to find the, the rep, Andy, to find out for sure. But as you can see, it has the slanted panel and then this removable lid at top. And the point is, is that you can view your critters from the top. And I think that that's a really interesting concept for a shrimp aquarium. I like that the big footprint or big deep footprint means that there's more oxygen exchange for the shrimp and allows for more breeding of your colony. Uh, the substrate as well is also a new one that's being launched by Aquion that is a uh, fired clay and is inert and it looks pretty neat. So the price point's around $100 and I think that this is a product that is well worth looking into. In fact, directly next to me is the packaging, which says it's an Aquayon Designer LED Shrimp Aquarium Kit. Um, it comes with the filter, the light, the substrate, everything that you need in order to set up this aquarium, and it's pretty darn neat. So at these events, there's always a lot of different vendors, and you can find unique things like these pleco magnets, fish foods, nets, supplies, bags, um, really pretty much anything you can think of, but I always think it's really fun when you find unusual fish art or, or things like this. I like to pick up the stickers and pins and stuff like that. Um, I always take these opportunities to restock on all my Pleco caves, um, to pick up new foods to try or just look at ingredients as well as you know talk to the folks that are selling or manufacturing these things to get an idea of what's going to be new on the market uh stefan tanner from swiss tropicals was there um there's always almost always as well a room that's dedicated to selling fish this one uh some people were selling out of bags some people were selling out of tanks um, often there's rental tanks that you can you can pay money to be able to house fish in that was not the case at this show Again, many, many, many more dried goods around. Uh, usually you can get your hands on copies of new publications and magazines. And again, there was more artwork. And also um, the owners of Go Wild Peru were there. And Ian Fuller does some really beautiful paintings as well as has these pins made. And I actually have all of them. I collect these. Um, I just think they're really, really neat and uh, there are also these cool um, wood plaques that have been carved 
available. So, you know, just an opportunity to pick up some really neat stuff. So it is Sunday and I am back from the show and I hope I just wanted to encourage you guys if you have the opportunity to go to one of these hobbyist events to really check them out. There's always great speakers, good quality fish, tons of supplies and the best part is everyone there loves to talk fish. As always, thanks for your continued support.